Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, cinematic logo reveal animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported the logo and media files, you can download this flare, particles and light leak media file, from the link given in the description. So without any wait, let's start creating logo animation. Create a new composition. Name it as logo animation. Make sure width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 6 seconds. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to solid background layer. Here you can set any color of your choice for your background layer. Set ramp shape to, radial ramp. Ramp scatter value to 200. Perfect. Now let's add the reflection image to the timeline. For reflection image, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to reflection image. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, change tile center value for x axis as shown. Perfect. Select mirror edge. You can see the preview. Let's pre-compose this reflection image. Name it as reflection. Now here, we need to add our logo to the timeline. Place it over reflection composition. Here you can scale your logo if needed. Let's pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as logo. For reflection composition. In effects and preset, search for CC Blobble Eyes. Add it to reflection composition. In blowiness. Change blob layer to logo. Let's hide the logo composition. Set softness to 9. Set cutaway value to 5. For reflection composition, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Here you can see only outline of logo is visible, to make complete logo visible. You need to change blob property to alpha. Perfect. If you want to keep the intro in silver format, you don't need to add the curves. But if you want to change this into golden intro then, for reflection composition. In effects and preset. Search for curves, add it to reflection composition. Here you need to adjust the curves as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Select reflection and logo composition. Pre-compose them. 
name it as logo reveal. Here we will change this composition to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Create a null object. Change it to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null object, press P to bring up position. At 4 seconds. Create keyframe for position. At start of the timeline. Change position of Z axis as shown. For end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. For camera layer. In camera options. On the depth of field. At 2 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for blur level. At start of the timeline. Set blur level to 1000%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for aperture. Set value to 90 pixels. At 2 seconds and 20 frames. Set aperture to 10. You can see the preview, this creates fast blur effect for the logo. Now let's add the flare 1 media file to timeline. For flare media file, change Mo to add. If you want you can also set any different color for your flare. You just need to add tint effect. Here you can set any color of your choice. Here I will keep it as it is. Let's add flare to media file to timeline. Change Mo to add. Add particle media file. Change Mo to add. Add light leak media file. Change Mo to add. Now let's create a new solid layer. Here I will name it as color. In effects and preset. Search for fill, add it to solid layer. For color layer, change mode to exclusion. Now set the fill color of your choice. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for curves, add it to adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Adjust in such a way that it create S type curve. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Now double click on the rectangle shape layer to create mask. For mask 1, change mask path. Change unit to percent of source. Set, top to 10%, and bottom to 90%. Change mode to subtract. Perfect. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as black. If default color for your solid layer is not set to black then. In effects and preset. Search for fill, add it to solid layer. Set color to black. For solid layer, press T to bring up opacity. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for opacity. At 1 second, 
change opacity to 0%. At 5 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. At end of the timeline, change opacity to 100%. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.